The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to Fred in Denver. Hey, Fred, what's going on? Hey, Tom, listen, it's an honor to speak to you. I wanted to tell you, I'm one of your successful tigers, and the reason that I'm successful, I probably read a couple hundred books on technical analysis over the last 10 or 15 years. I'm a retired public school teacher, and I heard you talking today on your earlier show that if you really knew what you were doing in this business, you probably wouldn't have to work again. And I wake up every morning, I look at your book, I can tell you, every other author, is just paled in comparison to your clarity. I just wanted to thank you. I really appreciate it. And now, here's Tom O'Brien. Good day, traders. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Tom O'Brien Show. I'm your guest host, Steve Rhodes, coming to you live from the TFNN television and radio network. This show is coming to you live on Tiger TV. Just go to the TFNN website, click on the uh, Tiger TV button at the top of the page, and then click on Channel 1, and you'll get the, and then you'll see the TFNN live video feed. And, folks, you want to be able to watch this show live. Why? Because, you know, learning is absolutely so visual. And so, and you can also, you know, you can watch it on any of your mobile devices, whether you've got an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod, an Android device. And if you go to the homepage of TFNN, over on the right-hand side, you'll see a little area where it's got some little red dots around it. You can click on that, then you can bookmark that site on your mobile device, and you'll be able to see a streaming live. You know, we've got some great new technology out there so that you can follow along with me, and it'll give me an opportunity to teach you now, folks, I absolutely love being here with you. You know, this truly is really the best part of my day. There is no place that I would rather be. You know, for me, folks, that's really what life is all about. It's all about being no place you'd rather be. You know, I say if you're not giving, you're not living. And my promise, my promise during this next hour is to give you the best care, guidance, and protection when it comes to you. You know, you're investing, you're trading, your investment assets, your retirement assets, whatever it is, folks, I want to protect you because this is a volatile marketplace out there. It's up, down, all around. We're going to take a spin around and take a look at that. But, you know, I know the value of your time, and I really appreciate your presence here today. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve you. Our call in number, 877-927-6648. I'd love to hear from you. I would be honored to take your call to get, uh, today. And again, my name is Steve Rhodes. I host the Trader's Ed Show, which airs here on Tiger TV each morning, 9 a.m. I kick things off for us, kind of light the fuse, if you will, so we can take a look at, see what's going on around the world. I help you plan so that you know when you come to my show, you've typically heard the news that's going on out there. If you're watching CNBC or Fox Business News or whatever it might be, well, when you come in at 9 o'clock to my show, you're getting the straight scoop because we take a look at the charts. We know exactly where things are headed based on the patterns that are out there. And so I can give you excellent guidance. So tune in each Monday through Friday. And then from 10 to 11, Tom and I do a show together called The Money Masters. If you haven't tuned into that, check that out. It's absolutely, we have a blast doing that show. And uh, Tom is uh, uh, still a little bit under the weather. Tomorrow morning at 7.30, though, you want to tune in to CNBC. He's going to be on there giving his takes on the market, on the gold. And, and I'm sure he'll have a nice little tidbit. So he's out there. We're making sure. We're giving him a little TLC, if you will, so that he is primed to do the CNBC show. So tune in at 7.30. Catch him. Then tune back in here at 9 o'clock. See me, and then, you know, Tom and I will talk about uh, his segment on uh, CNBC tomorrow from 10 to 11. Now, each uh, Tuesday and Thursday, I then come back and do another hour from 11 to 12. That's right. You know, you got me for three hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we just continue to take a look at the markets. And so my shows the ti are, are archived on Tiger TV on Channel 14. And then Tom's show and mine, the Money Master Show, that is archived on Channel 15, so you want to check that out. But there's really only one thing, folks, that you really need to know about me. And that's this. I learned a long time ago that the way you do anything is the way you do everything. I'm thorough. I'm patient. I'm logic-based thinking. I'm open to new things. I'm always learning, always teaching. I'm a natural-born provider. And most of all, 
I am passionate about everything I do. I am grateful for everything in my life. We talk about passion, folks. Hanging around my neck, it says, live with passion. So I am absolutely passionate about everything, and I'm grateful for your presence here today. So let's go take a look at today's market action. Let's go take a spin around the world. Let's take a spin around Wall Street. We had the Dow finish down 68 points at 11, 9.53. Now, the Dow's next stop is at the 11, 8.39 area as it makes its way down. You heard me. As it wakes, as it makes its way down to the 11, 5.62. That's the top of the swing point from November 28th. We had the S&P finish down 11 at 12, 226, 12, 12, 26, not 12, 226. So 12, 12, 26, I'll get it out, with its next stop at the 1200 area. That's the 618 retracement of its leg up with a more likely destination on the SPX right around the 1181. That's the 786 retracement, and it's also inside the November 25th swing point. We had the NASDAQ finish down 33 at 2579 with its next stop at the 2530 area as it closes its most recent gap up. And also, the .618 retracement of the move up from November 25th. And when it leaves that station, folks, that's right, it's going to leave that station. And it'll be on its way down to 2477, which is the top of the 1128 swing point, And the closing of the first gap that we have on the composite. Now, we had the Russell 2000 finish down 15 at 718. Its next stop is at the 700 area. That's the point six one eight retracement of its last leg up. And the final destination is at the top of that November 25th swing point or the 679.81 area. We had the dollar finish up 79 ticks. King dollar, let's go take a quick look at king dollar out here. Let me see if we can pop king dollar up on my screen. Where is that uh, little guy? There we go. King dollar is alive and well. He's just resting today, folks. He's just out there making sure that he is primed for tomorrow on CNBC 730. Make sure you're tuning in and catch it. But King Dollar up 79 ticks, closing out at 80.35. We had gold finish down 34 at 16.34. Silver finishing down 29 cents at 30.70. Light sweet crude up 228. Crude oil is strong, folks. It finished up at about just above a hundred dollars and some change. Asia, Asia down hard last night, and the Shanghai is headed for the February 2009 levels, folks. This is a danger sign because this is a one-world market, and if if China was going to rule the world, the Shanghai is telling us a little different story out there. You know, we'll take a look at that. We had Europe was mixed last night. You had the FTSE actually finish up 62 points, but it was nothing doing nothing more than a bounce off of its 382 retracement. We can take a look at that as well, and that's on its way further south. Uh, we had the uh, DAX. Now, the DAX tells a tale of a different story. You see, the DAX here, it finished down 11 points, but tomorrow morning, what you can expect you can expect to see the DAX trying to trade into the 5673 area. That's its point six one eight. Uh, uh, that's its point six one eight. Uh uh, retracement and that's going to be a you know a hundred point swing. So we'll see what the DAX does as it gets into that. You know we've got it all, folks. Again, our call number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. What's it all about? That's right. I said, what's it all about? It's all about King Dollar. We're going to go take a look at uh, King Dollar. We'll punch that up here on the screen. And uh, King Dollar, folks, what you got to know is that it's it's a the, our dollar is a basket of currencies. You know, and it's all about really understanding the currency pairs out there. You've got the euro, U.S. dollar, that's 50, almost 59% of the dollar index. Then you've got the yen that falls right behind, that's about 12.6%, almost 13% of that uh, of that uh, of the index and you've got the pound that's a great british pound us dollar currency pair that's 11.9% you got the canadian dollar the swedish krona and to round it out you've got the swiss franc we take a look at the uh, king dollar out here we can see that what it was going against and if you're listening to any of the shows this morning that I was doing we were taking a look at the importance of that october 4th swing point the high out there being 8043 we closed at 8033 we got over the top of that and so it's going to be interesting to see, you know, what kind of jet propulsion that we have here. What we did here, as you can see, we made a 1.272 expansion from the last swing. So what we did today is we finished a move of a move. We finished a move of a move, going back and take a look at October 4th. We also did an expansion off that November 25th swing point. Now, the question is, is that expansion going to be a 1.272 expansion 
Or is this going to be a 1.618 expansion? If we go see where the 1.618 would take us to, let's go uh, take a quick peek here. And the 1.618 would take us uh, right up here into the $81 range. 81 And, folks, when we see that, you are going to see some pressure on the markets. You know, this morning, the way that the markets were trading, we had King Dollar was up and our markets were up. I had some callers that were calling in and saying, hey, Steve, what's the disconnect here? And, you know, is it, the do is it the markets, is it the U.S. markets that are ruling the dollar, or is it the dollar that's ruling the markets? And I said this, folks, the currency markets are ten times the size. In fact, this time of year, when we take a look at the volume or the lack of volume that's out there, it's more like 15, 20 times the size of the U.S. markets. The dollar, the currency market, folks, that is the dog. We're nothing more than a tail, and you want to be able to follow the money. You want to be able to follow the money so much, I can hear Jerry Maguire saying, show me the money. And if we go take a look at show me the money, what's it, what it's all about with regard to is the dollar index going to go up to that 81 level? Is that its next stop? Well, all we really have to do is go over and take a look at the euro, because what this is all about, folks, this is all about following the money you know that is the yellow brick road if you were and how this works folks if i actually were the wizard of oz here and i could say to you i tell you what i'll exchange all your king dollars for euros would you take that now nah, you know what the answer is no you would know if you clicked your heels three times it wouldn't get you back to kansas it wouldn't get you back to par you wouldn't trade your dollars for euros at any time at this point right now and why well, in the case of the euro, it was doing a move of the move as well. That move was going back to October 4th. That low was 131.444. You're trading right now at 133.14. You broke through that with some conviction. You've got a long-range bar. And where is that euro going? Well, folks, that euro is at least headed into this uh, 128. You can see it makes an ABC with inside an ABC. We've got a larger ABC pattern. It'll also be a 1.272 expansion of the swing points. Now, folks, it'll be very easy for this to happen overnight. It'll certainly be easy for this to happen from sometime about 2 a.m., 2 to 3 a.m., when London, when the London currency traders are up and at them, and they're going to be determining whether or not they want to hold on to any more euros because, folks, Europe is on sale right now. And if we just simply go switch over to the weekly chart, let's see what happens here. And the reason why I'm spending so much time here on the currencies is because this, folks, is what it is that you need to understand to understand where the markets are going. And right now what you can see on the weekly chart, you've got a Gartley buy pattern right inside here in that 124 area. So, folks, that is going to put pressure on the markets, and Santa is getting ready to put coal in everyone's stocking. Doesn't seem to be much of a Santa Claus rally here. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Story Gold Mines and NYSE Amex listed.